Hi everyone, this is Tarun Chaudhuri. Uh, today I came to a wonderful place in California. Uh, it's a sunny day and I thought I'd share my experience of the, the Masters in Computer Science in Georgia Tech, my journey. And it's an online program called OMSCS. So <coughs> I think this is a beautiful day. So <laughs> just start sharing today. So I um, enrolled in this course in 2020 when COVID started. Um, initially, it was really challenging to me. And I did not score well in initial assignment. So I would like to share some success tips to the people who are working and who have a family, who have a kids, how you can do and work life balance, maintain and still complete your course successfully. I have a 3.8 GPA and which is good I'm not I don't have a perfect score but I'm happy with that so I have few advice so for the first advice is to me is persistence so a lot of time you will see that you won't succeed in this course but if you give up you're gone so I have felt many times that I'm not going to get successful but if you're persistent till end of the course you will be successful because that is how the course is designed to test your ability to fight and actually keep trying and keep trying for the best so that's number one so if you ever see your score is low don't worry about it just focus on learning just focus on learning and you'll be good that's first thing second thing is don't try to be a superhero always so my advice is for all the assignment is just focus on what the assignment wants read the assignment very well and give precise and structured answer because that's what it is expected that you know it's a it's a uh, what I should say it's a learning at scale right there are so many people online so the TA and the teachers do not have a time if you write a big story which is outside of the scope so you have to be very precise and make sure that to the point and highlighting your answer in such a way that it's easy to spot for the TAs who are scoring your thing. That's number two. Number three is that uh, this is my expectation. Choose your course carefully because it is not the master's degree. Take it as a journey how you can actually enjoy the learning here. It's amazing. I'll tell you it's amazing so choose your course which is related to your work then you can like I work in a healthcare company so I choose health informatics big data for health that really helped me a lot uh, so choose according to the field you work so that you can connect your learning to your work and apply because that's where the real gain is right um, the fourth point I have is that you will see a lot of exams and generally there is a midterm exam and there is a end of the term exam and this is a pro tip I do not get upset if you score bad in midterm exam because the end of the year exam generally easier than the midterm uh, so it's okay if and if you don't score properly um, then uh, my fourth advice is that which I followed that you know generally if you do an on-campus masters a lot of time publication is a goal uh, for especially if you try for a PhD uh, but in this online people don't give emphasis on publication but I did I have my own publication which is called deep to lead the paper if you search in Google you will get it I'm now a Google scholar I'm really proud about that we were before I was not a Google scholar now you can find my name in the Google scholar so try to take a subject which provides a, a, for publication and I can tell you some of the subjects big data for health gives you the opportunity to publication deep learning that also provides you an opportunity for publication. Uh, similarly, uh, EduTech, Education Technology, provides you an opportunity for publication. And then I think, uh, yeah, I, I think reinforcement learning also provides. So a couple of things, so just make sure you know, uh, you, if you have the goal, definitely try to have a, one publication of the paper. It will add a lot of value. And last is that, I don't know what's your goal, 
but of course it's build your network with the good people you get you are you will be connected with so many diverse industry people and so if you want to build a new company of your own your networking is the biggest asset through this journey so build a great network so the, so the main, most important thing is enjoy the learning don't hurry and don't take too many subjects okay because if you take then you won't enjoy so don't go to complete the course just enjoy the journey it will be automatically completed i think that's all it's a pretty beautiful day and uh, it's awesome right here in california i enjoyed thank you hope you enjoyed this video bye